Softwares are kind of the bread and butter when it comes to any sort of business that you are running. And so when it comes to real estate wholesaling, they could be the difference of making only $10,000 a month and making $100,000 a month. So now how do we pick the right one? Hey, what is going on everyone? Devin can up here with another video providing massive value and fire content like always. And so if you're new to the channel and you guys enjoy what you see today, make sure you join the fam, join the gang by hitting the nice looking subscribe button down below. And so in today's video, I wanted to talk about a program that I use called Investor Fuse. I wanted to give my fair review um, as to what, how I feel about it. I'm gonna try to weigh out the best I can as far as the pros and the cons go and talk about some of the services inside of there and we'll go from there. And so as far as Investor Fuse goes, if you guys are unfamiliar with the software, the program, what Investor Fuse is currently is it is like an add-on onto the existing Podio CRM. If you don't know what CRM is, it's Customer Relationship Management Tool. And so it's adding on to a system already known as Podio. And Podio is a huge system, a huge company that they, uh, they provide services for big companies like the NFL Network and lots of other big, huge companies. I can't really list them off. I could probably Google it, but you can do that yourself. Uh, so anyways, they're a huge platform and it, if you get like a free plan or whatever, you could, as long as there's no automation going on, you can create like a free plan. You can just build your own web apps inside of there and whatnot. But what's going on with Investor Fuse is they allow for you to use their platform, their apps and everything uh, with all the automation and all that. So you're paying like a monthly service or annual service. And so as of right now, I think the service is going for like 197. I can't remember, I'd have to look at my build, recent building history and whatnot. And then also you can get credits on there inside of their application. So that way you can send out text messages or send out direct mail postcards out of their platform and it manages your list and everything like that. So it's a very powerful tool and there's a lot going on inside of there as well. So now let's go, we'll start with the con, well, we'll start with the pros and then we'll go off to the cons. So first of all, the pros of the software and the platform. So first of all, is they have really great support. They're able to help you out and everything. There's only been like one or two times where they didn't respond to us like immediately and they took like a day or whatever. And I think they were like just getting back from vacation or whatnot off of a holiday. But for the most part, every time that we ever have a problem, they're able to get us an answer very quickly and help us out. So that, that is one of the biggest pros when it comes to it, uh, as well as really it just, it makes things so much easier because then it's able to like smoothly transition all of the different like leads that you have coming through. There's so many filters you can have, so many different like text messages you can send out that go out automatically for you based off of the situation, whether they're like cold, warm, or hot as far as motivation and everything. And there's a lot of different different parts inside of there. There's there's a lot of parts inside of there that you can mess with and that leads on to the cons, but uh, we'll keep talking about the pros for a second. So the third thing that I would say is a pro of it is you can actually send out your own direct mail out of the application, out of the platform. And so you can basically, however you have these leads set up, uh, that people are calling in, it will take those leads out of your database of, of leads or whatnot to uh, mail and everything, your mailing list, and then it'll just automatically like filter everything out. And then it'll consistently send out mail to this list over and over again for you until like it's deemed appropriately. And it sends out different mail pieces and all of that different stuff. So it's really cool that how they have everything set up inside of there. And so it's really able to kind of take over everything that you need inside of your whole selling business. It's kind of like an all-in-one solution. Also, another thing cool is they are good with integration. So like we use CallRail in our business. So you're able to integrate CallRail into the investor fees system and whatnot. And so now on to the cons inside of this platform. There's probably some other pros I, I just can't think of off the top of my head. Uh, but anyways, we'll jump into the cons. So some of the cons inside of it when it comes to the investor fees platform is that it is on Podio and oh my gosh, it is annoying. First of all, you get tons and tons of notifications from their automation system. Every time the automation part of the program does something, it blows up your phone basically if you have notifications on and it just like, it notifies you everything that it does and it just goes berserk and it just fills up like all the space and everything and just keeps showing that this automation is happening and whatnot. And so they are moving, about to move onto a, their own platform so they're not really using Podio anymore. 
but I have not experienced it yet and everything, so I will be checking out that out when they go on and inside of it and whatnot. And so, now the second thing. Now, this one really just depends on kind of what your circumstances are in your situation. I, I don't think it's necessary for the beginner wholesaler. This is a platform for if you are consistently doing deals and you have a lot going on inside your business and you need, need a way to manage everything going on. So it's basically able to help you out with all of this different stuff that's going on. And so that way you can, like as a business owner, you can be able to watch everything going on inside of your business. But it's it's uh, it's definitely a little bit pricier. I think, like I said, it's like $200 a month or I think it's like two, well, like $3,000 a year. I don't I don't know. I, I forget. I'd have to relook at their payments and whatnot. And so anyways, yeah, it's uh, very pricey if you aren't doing that many deals consistently. So make sure you're at least doing deals consistently before you jump onto a plan like this or whatnot. So also there's like another option is instead of hiring investor fees, you can just hire your own software developer. You don't have to pay residually like so many, so many hundreds of dollars a month. And the only problem is, is it's gonna cost you thousands of dollars to get set up. So you have to kind of weigh out the pros and cons when it comes to that type of stuff. And so I would say another con of the system is it is very difficult to use at first. Now they do, for like they do have all these different videos and everything inside of there that you can watch when it comes to the business uh, inside of the platform they have all these different videos you can watch all these different lectures and basically walking you through step by step how to use the platform also they do like live calls every so often that you can go in and check out and then you can ask questions inside of there and you can talk to them on the phone or whatnot they have pretty good support but it does take a decent amount of time to learn how to use the system especially because there's so many buttons inside of there it's like making Facebook ads, honestly. Like, there's just about the same amount of buttons inside of there. So you have to learn how to use all these different buttons and all these different features. Now, a lot of it is automated for you, but like I said, you do have to get used to using the platform. And so, <coughs> and so now, would I recommend Investor Fuse? Now, my recommendation is really going to change depending on how it's going to look when they move on to their own platform. That will kind of give like change my viewing on the, the the software and the platform itself once they change it. But as of right now, I wouldn't recommend the software or the program unless you're consistently doing deals every month and you have more than like two employees. So if you if you have less than two employees, you can just get the well, two or less, you can just get the free Podio platform and whatnot. Or you guys can just do like a shared Excel spreadsheet, or you can use what's called High Rise HQ. And it's a free service up until I think you get like 50 leads. But all these different softwares that I'm naming off, other than the Investor Fuse, is you can have you can have like a half a million dollar business running and operating without using Investor Fuse. So it's not really that big of a deal. But if you are just sick and tired of having to do everything manually and you have money coming into your business, then I would recommend that you get the Investor Fuse software and platform. So it's not a necessity. Everybody's kind of emphasizing on the, the database when you're getting started. The database really doesn't matter. Don't don't waste your time too much. Don't uh, get that shiny object syndrome and whatnot. I just recommend that you just go out there and just focus on doing deals and just keep following up with people. And so just keep calling people, uh, just keep, keep in touch with everybody and you'll be doing fine. So anyways, thank you guys all for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Also, I do have a link down below for Investor Fuse if you are interested in it. And so anyways, if you guys liked today's video, join the fam, join the, fam, join the gang by hitting the nice looking subscribe button down below. And if you guys liked today's video as well, please drop a thumbs up. I highly appreciate it. Also, I upload to YouTube every day, so I'll be seeing you all tomorrow. Peace.